Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars. Um, there's a bit of malware around that's been installed by you know who's. And it has to do with not using the name of the person that you intend to visualize making love to when you're having the daydream while you're having the daydream. Rather, you substitute the name of someone else. And what this set of malware does is it ties you to the person that you're talking about rather than the person that you want to feel amorous towards. And so a glom occurs that causes crossed wires in love affairs and so forth. And so you're destined to be destroyed in your desire for the one that you love if you fall for this malware for whatever reason. And some of the reasons that people do are they're shy and they don't want to say that the name of the person that they really love. So they offer a ruse that, that leads people to think that it's someone else. Or there's a reason why they can't say the name of the person involved. Maybe that person is married to someone else, for instance, and they don't want anybody to find out. Or suppose they're living a celibate lifestyle as a monk or nun, and they don't want anybody to know that they're thinking of making love to a person that's also a, a celibate nun or monk. That's another reason. Or suppose they're black magickers and it, they feel that there's a, that the power is lost when they say the name of someone and so they want to preserve the black magic ability of the person that they love. Those are only a few of the reasons but I'm here to tell you do not fall for that malware. It'll complicate your life and it'll um, wind you up in the purgatory world for sure. Even in this lifetime. So the moral is, when you love someone, shout it to the world. Let everyone know the name of the person that you love.